Uh, you got to think but, about the reward mm. that oppressed people will get from mm. Allah from actually following the truth despite mm. all of this nonsense going on. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Well, ad, well, Adam, Adam means that, and Adam, it does mean that's why Allah. But what I'm saying is, but with due respect, right? Mm. This man, you see, may Allah bless this man. You see, brother, he's a great representation of how the black Muslim supposed to be. Mm. You see, now for me, brother, I'm not strong enough to be in these particular religions, brother, and I'll tell you why. Because my strength, brother, comes from my culture. You see, I know about the creator and that. I know have I don't have the strength, brother, to be around non African people in these religions, brother. I go into the mosque, the, the the synagogue or the temple with them. I can't do that, brother. I've set I'm in set ways. You know what I mean? I'm in my forties, mid forties and that, right? This is how I've been raised. You see what I'm saying? Because if these people don't start practicing it. And I'm not going to say to myself, oh, because they're in these religions, right, everything's all right now. What about the ancestors? You see what I'm saying? What about what they went through? And that? They're in them religions. You understand? And none of them stop practicing the unethical code of conduct, denying or controlling African human rights. You see? Who were the majority of the, of the spreaders of Islam? We was. You see what I'm saying? And that? Before the nation of Islam, right, Remember Kitha Musa, you know, the older brother of Manta Musa came mm -hmm. in the 13th century in the Americas, the Caribbean, and brought mm -hmm. Islam over there. This is why the Syrian, Yemenis, and the rest of the, the, the Muslims, and the Pakistan, they can benefit in America. You see, you see what I'm saying? Okay, and before, let's not forget. Before, go on, before, go you, on. before you continue, go on. Right, I just want to get, get the folks on speed, uh, up to speed. Right? Right. What he's talking about, and Dr. Abdul Hakim Quip, he mentioned this in his book called Deeper Roots that right. uh, there was actually trade routes mm -hmm. between the africans in africa and the the south what we now call south american and north americans and there right. were even mosques in the south americas hundreds of years before columbus even arrived that's what he's talking about right now because they right. were dealing with the people like like normal they were making you know calling the people to islam and whatnot right and you know when Columbus came in, he discovered America. It's, this is just what he's talking about. There's not, we're not necessarily talking about post-slave uh, trade here. This is a different thing, right? So I just want, I want to bring them up to speed of what you're talking about. If you get Dr. Abdullah King's book, Deeper Roots, you'll be able right. to read it. Right. And also, Dr. Ivan Van Sertema, who's he's not Muslim. That's Muslim, right. He's That's an right. anthropologist. But he mentioned right. that Africans were trading with the, the, the South Americans, just a society, right. for uh, plenty of uh, centuries long before... For Columbus and whatnot, right? So, but but anyways, yeah, right. I, I don't. I, I just want to stay really uh, focused on right. this one point, right? Okay. You're going to right. find people who are off code everywhere. This is nothing unusual, right? It's not. If this is from the nature of human mm. beings, you are not required right. to mix with folks who do not like you. As a matter of fact, that is not from intelligence. You understand? We black folk, we always get told, right, whenever we talk about race, right, we get labeled as the racist. Like, we are the ones who made racism up. You get me? Right? And then then some of the, the immigrant Muslims, they have the nerve to tell right. us there's no racism in Islam while practicing racism in Islam. Right. right. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about, right? So mm -hmm. what we say is that... You, you first of all, you don't have the right to tell us no racism. Islam. We never have. We don't have any history at all practicing racism in Islam as, as black folks. And I challenge you to find uh, where we <clears throat> right. practice racism. Islam. We don't have any history of that. We never oppressed <clears throat> anyone based upon the color of the skin. We never prevented you from going to banks, owning land, murdered, massacred. We didn't never did any of that stuff, right? But rather, <clears throat> there's no Islam in the racist. That's what you should be saying. If right. you are, if you are racist, because the Prophet says something, he said, whoever has an even an Adam's weight of jahiliya, meaning whoever has an Adam's weight of uh, racism, they will not even get the not even get of jannah. They won't even get the scent of jannah, right? There's no Islam in the racist. Don't be telling us about the no racist Islam. You practicing racism? You get me? That's what you be saying. And don't allow the people because of their wicked behavior behavior to prevent right. you from the truth. This is what I'm saying. Right. Just because they are off code, 
right? Uh -huh. With the creation, why do you necessitate for yourself to be off code with the creator himself? Because of them. Okay. This is, exa so, brother, this is what, exactly what Iblis wants right. from you. Okay, you now, brother, here's, here's the issue, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you are a black Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah. An African, because you understand, right? So Jordan, when I, I observe, I, I hope you don't mind me. I know, I know, you're not really used to it. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm enjoying the conversation, so man. Well, the thing I is, you know, or do you respect to, you know, brother Jordan, if you mm -hmm. want to use them terms, there. Remember, he's got African Muslims. You see, so it's not going to be the same as the European speaking, right? Or do you respect him? So the way I've seen the the African Muslims where they seem to forget about us is very problematic. We were speaking mean? about, so for example, there's been many cases that when it comes to defending the black community, right, the correct way, etc., and that, right, yeah. they more favor with the non-black Muslims. Okay. You see, because the non-black Muslims, what they'll do is, and we were speaking about this before you came on, brother, mm -hmm. is that there was a, a very prolific African Muslim you know, made the most high of mercy on his soul. He was speaking about the injustice with people. And also he was a Muslim as well. And they basically made him feel bad of him helping his black people. This is the non-black Muslims, brother. You see, oh, you have to call yourself Muslim before African. You see these little things. No, no. It, if you say you're the, a Muslim, you, you see, but these things. Go on. Is this, is, this from, is this from the Quran itself? To misidentify yourself when Allah he, himself God. says in the Quran that he has created you and tribes God. and nations so that you can recognize each other. I, you understand? So just God. because just because mm. folks came with him and God. tried to mix up his thinking, right? right. It doesn't mean mm. now that right. somehow Islam is not the truth. That's that's on them. And what they do, that is between <clears> them and Allah. But what you do, right. you gotta think right. about the reward. Mm that oppressed people will get from mm -hmm. Allah from actually following the truth despite mm -hmm. all of this nonsense going on. Right. We chose the truth. We didn't choose you, and we cho we didn't choose to stay away from the truth because of your nonsense either. Y'all feeling me? Right. right? So anyways, bro, I didn't mean to cut you off there, um, the yeah. brother, but I, I, I got to go sing to myself, right? Don't yeah, you see, brother, what you're saying, brother, it, it, it's, it's benefits. You mean well, etc. and that, right? And yeah. we hope in the black community that there's more brothers like yourself abdul hakim quick they can let us know that you know what we're muslim mm -hmm. but we won't forget you the black muslims not all of them are something that they've forgotten about us you see you see all the time you know some yeah, of them call why, us why imagine this brother oh, oh, oh do you respect your brother imagine okay, this brother okay. imagine this right some yeah. of our people mm -hmm. call you abid imagine your own black muslim brother <laughs> calling you abid you know brother let's get wood I can say it again. I wish a no. biscuit would. Right. They are not my people, bro. Okay? Indeed. I tell you straight. Now, brother, you see what I'm saying? This is very yeah, disrespectful yeah. because I know what that word means. Seeing that word being used, yeah. right, on indigenous black Arabs, right, mm -hmm. it's definitely been used on me and it's been used on other black tribes, whether it's Nigerian, Caribbean, etc. and that, right? And what? But and your what, own what, brother, your own brother, right, He's going to call you that. How did he get to that? How, brother? Explain to me how. Right. And how, as, brother? Well, as the Prophet Muhammad says, he said, <clears throat> even a mustard seed of that type of jahiliya will need to get the scent of Jannah. They have to answer for that. We don't have to answer for that. You hear me? They have to answer for that. And any person who practices <clears throat> white supremacy or racism, don't confuse them with your brothers. They're not your brothers. Okay? Right. Mm. These are the infiltrators of the Ummah. Who, what was the original thing that caused Iblis to get cast out of Jannah? The Kibber. The Kibber. And the, the kibber. kibber from what? Yeah. Let's call it what because, it is. Yeah, you know, I'm better, I'm better than the Adam. You and know what, I mean? what do I'm, we call that in the yeah. English uh, language? The arrogance, isn't it? Arrogance. The arrogance. Right? And, and right. What, what do we call it? What does everybody call it? There's no, people out there are saying, I'm better than you because racism. of... So I'm, I'm sorry, he, he was racist. Yeah, I'm racism. sorry. Yeah. Racism. Racism. Yeah. racism. Yeah. Sorry. That's your right. religion. Don't right. confuse... Just because your name right. is, is Abdullah or Muhammad or whatever, you're, and you practice right. that, don't confuse right. us as brothers. We ain't brothers. Right. We ain't brothers. The Prophet Muhammad, he put 
a very hard kibosh on that when he saw it. He, he didn't play around right. with that. Period, right? right? Well, As a matter of fact, right. in his last book, uh -huh. and this is something that will happen until Yomo Kiyama, he said it in his last kutba, okay? Yeah. That there is no superiority of the white over the black or the Arab over the non-Arab, but rather the superiority, it comes from what? A, a taqwa, the, the God consciousness. There is God mm -hmm. consciousness superiority. Y'all feel me? And the second that somebody feels that they are superior to you over your race, because it, and remember racism is it, paper gold you see black folks are chumps if america were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it you'll do it and the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies chump <laughs> <laughs>